Today is World Cancer Day and the numbers are staggering. Listen to this. One in two men and one in three women will be diagnosed with cancer at some point in their lifetime. So today, Carrie Klamet with the American Cancer Society joining me to talk a little bit more about what we can all do to reduce our risk of cancer. And I was talking to you during the commercial break. I didn't realize that these numbers are so high. Yeah, it's it's really amazing, um, but that's why it's so important to take every measure that you can to reduce your risk of getting cancer. So how important are lifestyle choices when it comes to preventing cancer? Sure, they're the most important. So you're wanting to have a healthy diet, um, you know, lots of exercise, and then, you know, now you're definitely going to be a non-smoker to reduce your cancer risk. And then there's a vaccine. Um, right, the HPV prevent, vaccine. Yes, absolutely, and that can prevent up to six types of cancer. So for people watching, you know, when we talk about the lifestyle decisions, what's probably the most important piece of advice that you could give to people when it comes to reducing their risks? Sure, definitely don't be a smoker. Right. Um, so if you are a smoker, now's a great time to quit um, here on World Cancer Day. Um, and then also just, you know, healthy lifestyle and eating right. That's that's definitely the the, the, the keys there. Sure. So well, one of the things that you guys are doing on the American Cancer Society's website, there is actually a test that you can take. I took yes. it today and it gives you an idea about wh where you could make those changes, right? Yeah, absolutely. So that's the defender.cancer.org. Mm -hmm. um, it is a personalized cancer risk assessment. Um, so you can put in your current lifestyle behaviors and then it'll help you come up with personalized ideas of how you can reduce your cancer risk. Yeah, and one of the things that I saw in there that I found very interesting, I didn't realize being sedentary. I work out a lot, uh -huh. but even sitting a day all day long, that can reduce or up your risk even if you are an active person. Yeah, finding a way to stand up as much as you can, even if you're sedentary for most of the day. Um, and then, of course, any opportunity you have to throw some veggies on something. Yeah, um, always good. Yeah, and it tastes, they're tasty, too. They get a bad rap, but I love my broccoli. Absolutely. The other thing I wanted to ask you about, coaches versus cancer. Tell me yes, about this. Yes, so I mentioned veggies. Um, our One partners at another, Subway have been really key in helping us with that co coaches versus cancer initiative. So coaches across North Carolina have teamed up to support the American Cancer Society to encourage physical activity and then also so um, help us secure some donations. Awesome. So starting at an early age, that is such a great, great thing to do. So you encourage your kids as they're younger and as they get older to maintain that healthy lifestyle. Yes, absolutely. We definitely want to start with our youth and encouraging those healthy choices. Awesome. Carrie, thank you so much for joining us. Great information there. Bill, we'll send things over to you.